Bum, ba, 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 ba. It's cooking with Courtney. Courtney. Hey guys, welcome back to Vegan Cooking with Courtney. And today we are going to make vegan banana ice cream. I am so excited because this recipe is so easy. I mean, a couple of bananas, van you know what? Let's just get started. <laughs> So guys, we are going to get started on this. I am super stoked, oh my gosh. All you're gonna need is your food processor. We're going to go and get our bananas out of the freezer, and we're just gonna start popping our ingredients in. Come on, let's do it. I've got fresh bananas. I am so stoked. So I bought these bananas, I did not buy them frozen. Froze them myself, I wanted to make sure I get like the really good, flavors. <laughs> They're all stuck in my glass. Oh. Okay, I did it. <laughs> Alrighty, so you don't need a lot of anything. We are going to grab our vanilla extract. So this is one tablespoon. Oh, that's beautiful. Let me just pour it. Oh my gosh. Yes, vanilla. We are going to use cashew butter. And it's the same thing. I don't have another one, I gotta wash it. We're gonna use one tablespoon. That's like, that's one. <laughs> it's like a generous one, when you really want it cashewy. You're going to do three fourths of your plant-based milk, a lot. I am a huge fan of this milk, so we're gonna do the cashew. One third of this <laughs> ripple. That's it. Now we're gonna blend. Let's blend it up. Woo! Woo! I don't know what happened! <laughs> Now remember, just stir it up. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm ready. Guys, this looks incredible. I can't. We already know. We know! Oh my god! Yes! Did you see that? Guys, this looks incredible. I'm gonna blend it just a little more because there's like one or two pieces that are still bananas. So, let's get it. So, the same pan that I've used, we're going to use this non-stick um, tin pan and we're gonna put our ice cream in here. I'm so, so excited. Wow, guys, this looks so good. We're just, we want it all. So we're just going to put all of it in our container. Wow. Do you see how beautiful that looks? Unbelievable, guys. This looks so nice. Wow. Look at that. Ah. Uh, now. When you put all of your ice cream into your container, you want to let it sit in the freezer for two hours, just so it can have that nice, I mean, honestly, I feel like I could eat it right now. <laughs> like, why wait? But there's a reason. There's a reason. So, we're gonna get this really nice and smoothed out. You know I love this. I wow. Oh my gosh. What? Freezer. <laughs> okay, guys. So, now that we have our ice cream finished, we are going to grab a bowl and we're going to make the topping that goes onto the ice cream. This looks incredible, so I'm so excited to make it. You're gonna grab maple syrup, and you're going to do, 
Oh my gosh. You're gonna do one fourth of maple syrup. Now remember guys, all of this stuff that we're making, oh. I can't help myself. It just looks so good. <laughs> all of this stuff, it's a treat. So these things, you're not gonna eat all the time, but you do wanna enjoy yourself being vegan and eating healthy, and every now and then, a little bit of comfort. You know what I mean? So that's why we're here. And you want peanut butter. This oh, creamy deliciousness. I love peanut butter. You're going to do four tablespoons of peanut butter. Honestly, this looks like it's just gonna pop right on out. Okay, so now this is done. You wanna just do a pinch of salt. You know, just like a little baby bit. Sweet, savory deliciousness. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't. And last but not least, we're going to do our plant-based milk. So we are going to just grab this really quickly. So one, and then two. And you're just doing two tablespoons of your plant-based milk. You can just do any one you want. I do unsweetened for this, so I always like that a lot. The unsweetened milk for me is like, goes into everything really nicely and it doesn't make anything sweet, so a plus. And then you're just gonna mix this bad boy up. And you're gonna mix it really, really well. So well, you don't want any like separation in it. You want it to just kind of blend really nicely together. It's gonna look Real, look at that, it's gonna look real crazy in the beginning. <laughs> so now that we have our mix, oh my gosh guys, it just looks, I'm not gonna try this. I'm going to just put it in the sink. <laughs> I'm gonna grab our ice cream. Now, I, I literally just took it out. It has not been in there long at all. I just did not want it to melt because you wanna put your topping on it right before you put it in the freezer permanently for your two hours. We're going to put our topping on. You guys are going to enjoy this so much. Wow, I didn't realize how fast this was. <laughs> you just want to kind of layer everything on. And you want to save just a little bit. Because you're going to put some cashews on there. Cashews are everything. This is going to be so nice. I'm really excited to share this with you guys. We're going to put a few of our cashews on there, and honestly, this is gonna be done. We're basically finished. You can break your cashews up. I, I really just want them whole. I wanna be able to taste these cashews with the peanut butter and the banana ice cream. I think that's just gonna be like a really delicious burst of flavor, and you're done. Set this in here for about two hours in your freezer. Take it out, serve and you can always double the recipe. So this recipe that I'm making right now, it's probably for three people. So you can do eight bananas and then double all of the rest of the ingredients. Child, you got yourself a feast. Ain't nobody gonna tell you nothing at the party. <laughs> and so we put a little bit of our um, cashews on. You're going to put a little more of your peanut butter, um, maple syrup mix, and that's it, guys. And we're all done. And now I'm just, now I'm just gonna sprinkle these on. <laughs> and I will see you in two hours. <laughs> more like two seconds. Guys, this was incredible. Incredible. Such an easy recipe to make and banana and peanut butter. Wow. I Have two bowls because I invited a special guest Miss Jessica from Miss Jessica's world. Come on in <laughs> <laughs> <Hey. Hey. laughs> 
Please tell them a little about yourself and what you're doing here. Yeah, of course. Hey everyone, I'm Jessica, but I go by Miss Jessica on my YouTube channel called Miss Jessica's World, which is for kids. There, I foster the love of learning through music and movement and cultural exploration. And Courtney came on over to my show. What did we make? We made banana oatmeal chocolate cookies. <laughs> Oh, guys. It was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> they were so good. And she wanted to try another recipe. And I was like, why not do another sweet one? Because we don't do a lot of sweet stuff on here. A lot of our stuff is comfort food. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, sweets are comforting. I mean, Com they are. <laughs> okay, what are we about to try? This is going to be banana peanut butter and cashews. Mm. Now, it's supposed to be an ice cream sorbet kind of thing in the caramel with the sweetness of the banana. Oh, it's supposed to be so good. Okay. So I'm really excited. I like how you're like, it's supposed to be so good. I know, I haven't tried it yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Definitely going into the comfort category. Oh yeah, like, this is pure comfort. This is like <laughs> emotional comfort right here. <laughs> emotional comfort 101. Because this is delicious, Courtney. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I don't know, I'm gonna have to have you come back over to Miss Jessica's <laughs> world and do, and do this one. <laughs> it's so good. So I'm really excited for you to try it, make it, and share it with your friends. Guys, enjoy, because I know I will. <laughs> Bye! Bye! <laughs>